Thank you very much. And thank you, Catherine, especially for the tribute to my late sister, Susan, who started First Step Recovery. When I came in here today, somebody said, you know, the program says that you're supposed to dress casual. And I said, I'm a lawyer. This is casual <laughs> for me. And then two weeks ago when I was asked to come and talk to you, I asked them, what should I talk about? And they said, you should talk about three minutes. And so I'm going to do that, although in the area of treatment and recovery, so much of what is happening in North Dakota is as a re comes through knowledge that I gain as Attorney General. Like every other state in the union, we have seen an alarming increase in the prevalence of prescription drug abuse, school kids trading and selling their prescription painkillers, others caught in the grip of addiction to dangerous medications after being assured that they were perfectly safe. To help combat the problem in 2009, I inaugurated the prescription drug take back program so citizens can take their expired, unneeded, unused medications somewhere, in this case to the police department, to get rid of them. And since this was inaugurated in 2009, we in North Dakota have collected 2.3, excuse me, 12.3 tons of Oxycontin, fentanyl, Prozac, and other, and other medications that have been turned in and safely destroyed here in North Dakota. And I can tell you, a milligram at a time, 12.3 tons is a lot. But there's a lot of medication that is left in medicine chests and bathrooms. If you have any in yours, or you know somebody who does, you can take them to the law enforcement center. And then in addition to that, Take Back program proved so popular that my office partnered with the North Dakota Board of Pharmacy and also put disposal containers in pharmacy counters all across the state. And so between our Take Back program and the Pharmacy MedSafe program, there are now almost 200 places where you can, for free, with no questions asked, get rid of those dangerous, addictive drugs and keep them off the street. But, <laughs> but the, the origin, the evolution, and the astonishing scale of America's catastrophic opioid epidemic can be directly attributed to the drug industry. The pill manufacturers and the wholesalers who have found it profitable to flood some of the most vulnerable communities in North Dakota with billions and billions of painkillers. They continued to move that product with false advertising and dishonest medical studies that claim these narcotic painkillers are perfectly safe for long-term chronic pain relief when clearly they are not. And now as the narcotics flood has been reduced, the result has been the arrival of substances that we had never seen here in North Dakota before, or rarely so, and that's heroin and fentanyl, and then car fentanyl, which themselves have stolen the lives of too many of our citizens. That is why I, along with just about every other attorney general in America, are suing Purdue Pharma and other manufacturers and distributors to hold them accountable for their outrageous marketing that has re resulted in the overdose deaths of tens of thousands of Americans, as well as the tragic addiction for hundreds of thousands more. I cannot... <laughs> now, I can't divulge to you the status of those lawsuits because we are right now, at this minute, in the midst of some very contentious negotiations for settlement with each of these companies. But what I want you to know is that I recognize that our current resources for treating addiction in North Dakota are completely and wholly inadequate. I will do everything that I can to assure that any monetary recovery that we have from those lawsuits is entirely devoted to treatment that is available and effective, and this means adding to 
not replacing funds that are already being devoted to treatment. The And I know there are a lot of legislators here who share my view, so mark my words, we'll be working together to make sure that happens. The eight narcotics task forces across North Dakota that are part of my office and headed up by our narcotics agents are absolutely overwhelmed. Not only with the prescription drug problem and that epidemic, but also the alarming increase in the availability and the increased potency of meth and other drugs, marijuana, and let's of course not forget alcohol. We fully recognize we cannot arrest our way out of this problem. We need to focus more on prevention, that means education, as well as treatment options. So for all of you who have made it your life's work to alleviate the problems of addiction for our citizens, you cannot be thanked enough. Your efforts are truly appreciated. I am very happy to be able to be a very small part of it. Thank you.